Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakar Tajapati and I am very excited to announce that in my current company, we have launched a solution accelerator on the Databricks marketplace that is called Data Lake Sync Accelerator. So you can use this accelerator for your uh, projects in your project and it will be very super easy uh, to install it and to use it. So let's go with the uh, demo, you know, how you can use it right so basically it is present in the database marketplace you can see here so uh, you have i mean uh, your admin should uh, should allow you to use marketplace right so once you go to marketplace here right you will see the page look like this right so you have to search our company name fisco analytics and here right now we have only one solution correct so uh, you have to click on this and uh, then what you have to do see you have to request it you have to request it since it is free we are not charging anything uh, for you uh, but since uh, we have to give our access to you so you have to request it so let's say you know you have to provide uh, your name let's say your name is uh, alex alex john and uh, your company name whatever company name you have it right let's say your company name is uh, geek coders right intended use so to bring data something like that and click on here request access so we will get the access in our portal and we will give you access you will get notification right once you get the access and after that what you have to do so first understand what is what is this data lake sync connector uh, accelerator right so generally there are a lot of companies uh, you know store the data into a data lake gen 2 s3 bucket and so and uh, sometimes we have to bring that data from landing zone into the branch layer in the unity catalog right so how we can do it so you 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 might be thinking hey saga we can use adf we can use uh, we can use uh, uh, auto loader feature we can use simple you know data frame methods you know read the data from adls and put into the table like that we can do it that's true we can do it i'm not saying you cannot do it but it will take a lot of time to set up the notebook set up the pipeline and so we are giving you the feasibility that you do not need to do anything you just need to write a config file that's it everything will be taken care so uh, everything is written over here you can read it and uh, then you have to import this notebook so first of all once we give the access you can you will be able to install the install the package from here and import the library then you have to change all these things like container account name account key directory ingestion details output table merge column key so this is a kind of configuration json uh, dictionary right which you have to change it as per your requirement so see you have to put here container name you have to put here account name account key so right now we are only having account key but in by next week we will be able to publish over here the uh, sas token uh, connector method also and uh, service principle method also right so then what you have to do you have to uh, put a directory name if it is it if it is there otherwise you keep it as blank right and ingestion details so uh, you know what type of files we can store in adls we can store csv file so you can put the file type csv schema location and then checkpoint location right and then options you know whether the header should be true info schema should be true delimiter what is delimiter output table name so what is the table name so since we are using catalog unity catalog so you have to pass here catalog schema and table name and merge column key is will will be your primary key okay primary key of the table we can also automate it but we did not do it because uh, sometimes you know uh, a user has to provide uh, some combination of list some combination of keys and all likewise you can put here json also you know by by end of next week we will be we will deploy our next version which 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 will handle json parquet and other file formats also right and see if you are having like 10 files you can put it here only and it will iterate it in loop in loop right now this is the code you know uh, just you have to change this config file and run it so you can import the notebook in your the local system in your workspace and then you can 
you can do the work right so let's see how it works actually so this is already a code you know this is the same notebook and uh, what you have to do you have to you know install it okay you have to install it so you know it will you you have to run the first command right then you have to run the second command then you have to run this so right now the account key is uh, is blank because i cannot show you account key uh, right so what i will do i will change all these details you know uh, see i have put here container name account name and likewise you know uh, account key i will put and before that you know this is order id this is order id let me put like this so i will stop the video for a second and then what i will do i will run this command and i will also show you the tables i have done that and uh, now what i'm what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna run this uh, command we'll see will it work or fail <laughs> right So this is the table name, right? So it should have the data. You can ignore all these you know, naming convention at all. So all these are just a sample files. So you can see we have all this data. You can ignore this ID, name, age, rescue data. You can ignore all this stuff. Maybe I have added in the JSON in the CSV file. Right. Likewise, you can also go with 411. I guess 411 is the table table name I have created. Right. See, it it does not have any data. Let me. Hmm. So it only created a kind of schema. Maybe that file does not have a data. Right. So this is how you can create it. It's very pretty simple. You know, you do not need to write much code. And uh, in the next release, we will be uh, you you will be able to load JSON file, Parquet file, Avro file, and ORC file, uh, binary file. Also, you will be able to do it. So that's what this uh, uh, this connector, this accelerator is, and it is free. Of course, you do, your company do not need to any you do not need to pay any single penny uh, to us. So use it and give a feedback to us. I we would like to hear from you and we will give you access uh, in 24 hours and uh, hope you will love it and you will like it thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture